How to heal mentally. Well, for a start, if you have anything like headaches or migraines, then there's a good chance that you can identify that there's actually some mental healing to be done in the first place. So the reason I say that is because if you have a headache, it's basically anger or frustration or resistance against the self. So therefore, there's a part of you that is personally conflicted. So once we get beyond the headache stage, you end up with migraines and you're probably going to ask, well, what's the difference between the two? Well, a migraine similar to like a cluster headache is multiple things that are obviously conflicted. So those things that are generally conflicted are going to be the voices that are in your head, which are other people's voices that have conditioned you or educated you or trained you in certain ways of being from younger childhood. But if you have a look and have a discussion between, say, your mum, your dad, there's going to be disagreements. If you then have other discussions between friends, family, relatives, and the more people you get involved, the more potential for conflict there is. So because you've then got that ability to then have that conflict, you're then in a position whereby you're literally conflicted against conflict. So therefore you get migraines and cluster headaches because you've got lots of voices in your head. And how this then ties back to the self and then obviously healing mentally is because you then have to go back and you have to work out whose voices they were, why they're there in the first place, what lessons you have to learn based on who you thought you were, based on what they thought that you thought that they thought you should be. So as you can see, it's kind of looped and not exactly straightforward. But if you have a look at the patterning and the behaviors, then you can kind of start to work out and pull away all of the extra layers and conditioning that don't actually form part of who you are. And therefore, you can then start to reveal more of who you are by then reprogramming, deconditioning, and then reinstalling exactly what is more in alignment with who you are in order to facilitate the actual healing mentally. And then subsequently, with the mental healing being done, anything emotional that's stuck and anything then in your physical environment that is associated with those lessons will then also clear naturally as part of the overall healing process and therefore help you on your healing journey. So as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.